Good morning guys, welcome to Hillbro. Uh, we're in our secret spot out here in the middle of the desert. Actually not too secret, just north of the St. Anthony Sand Dunes. You can see them right there. Um, got the brand new Logan Coach trailer. Just finished the wrap, pretty cool. Uh, today is the beginning of October. It's pretty cold, it's just reached just above freezing. And we're gonna go explore something a little more than just the sand dunes like we always have done, but we're gonna go uh, hit the desert a little bit, explore places we've never been before. Um, so we've got a good friend Dave with us. Dad will be here, he's got a brand new, actually it's a used uh, double X that's he got used, that's pretty hammered. Hopefully that thing survives, it'll be its first time out. So he's gonna be worried about the cold, so we got a little surprise for him today and uh got a new uh new thing to show you guys today so uh this is gonna be fun let's get everything ready for them to show up dad just pulled up Good morning what, what do you got inside oh we've got wheels tires Oh, you got them both here. It's, it's cool out here. It's going to be a beautiful day, but it's cool. So a lot of people think of the desert as being hot. Oh, it actually gets really cold in the wintertime. Deserts get way cold, and it's pretty cold right now. Dad doesn't like the cold. Oh, yes, I do. What are you talking about? He doesn't like the cold. <laughs> I'm a snowmobiler. As long as he's dressed warm, he likes the cold. That looks cute. It's cute, little compared to that. <laughs> I know, we're used to built double X's. So dad has actually been working on another project built double X for the past year. I know, I always say year this, year that. It takes us forever to do stuff, we already know that. But he just got it started this week. Awesome. We still need to add our bumper, which we've redesigned our bumper. I haven't put it on yet, but. So you may have remembered when we were building the original Project Double X that uh, we were pressed for time for heydays and we did everything on it except for the tuning and the axles uh, within a month. I mean, it, we did it so fast. I was, I was shocked we did it. But obviously it was a quick job. There's a lot of, we have a dozen videos that you guys have seen where we've had to fix stuff. <laughs> Dad has been working on this for about a year and he's just refined a lot of it. And so it's a lot cleaner job than the original double X. He's updated the trailing arm system and uh, made it lighter, made it a little cooler looking. I don't know if he'll be running this one today just because it is actually the we're going to be riding and I don't want it to, we don't want it to break down or have any issues while we're gone. So he's taking he's taking that one. That looks clean. That'll be fun when it gets running. Caden just showed up. Oh, is it warm in here? I know you got a heater. Yeah. All right, you guys, so actually uh, we've got something new to, and I haven't told Caden nor dad what I've got here, but it is, like we've said, a cold morning. And uh, dad doesn't like the cold. Caden's yeah. wondering what the heck we're doing. It's Part a, of- It's a Saturday, what are we doing? <laughs> <laughs> well, we got something to show you guys actually. What size are you, Dad? Since COVID-19, I'm probably an extra large plus. <laughs> Caden's a small. At this temperature, I'm an extra small. Well, I got you covered, guys, because today we are trying out something that'll keep us warm during this cold ride. All right, guys, so what we're trying out today is something new to the market. It's called heat. 
basically what it is, is it's a heated base layer. All you really need is this underneath and essentially a windbreaker on top will keep you warm today. So Dave and I, while we were waiting for Dad and Caden, we already suited up. I feel like high-tech Batman. Oh yeah. <laughs> Wearing some of the most advanced technology here. We'll get into that in a second. We'll get, we'll let Dad and Caden get skinnied up. Yeah, I brought like three coats. <laughs> to stay warm. <laughs> I told them it would be a cold day. I told them I wanted it to be cold and they're like, why do you want it to be cold? Why don't we just leave when it's midday warmer? So I was like, no, the colder the better. So Caden suited up with uh, every layer, like an onion. Sleep number bed. What do you think? And when they Looks like I'm going to be bulletproof. No you probably can't even notice, but right here is a pad. Oh, that's my pecs. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> right here is a pad. That's my bicep. Um, right here is a pad. Mm -hmm. um, got two on your kidneys back here. And then one right directly center there. So there's another, more layers, heat pads there on the inside of the thigh, the kneecaps and on the outside of the thigh. The batteries, again, you can feel a little, right there, a little magnetic bay hookup for the battery. Um, but the, the whole point of the positions of the heat pads are just heating the vitals of the body so like a warm radiator, it heats up your blood and warms the rest of rest you up. <clears throat> and inside it looks like we got a battery case. Comes with, looks like two boxes of two batteries. So a total of four batteries. I guess one on each side. And then, and then your chargers for the batteries. So pretty complete kit there. So I just put them in like this. Hmm. Little magnet that just like that. matches it. I don't know. You can tell it's there, but there's more noticeable things, I guess. <laughs> Except for you, Caden. It's cold, right? <laughs> so there's a little setup we got to do to get you juiced up. All right. The website that you would want to go to is Heat, uh, heat Up or Heat Ink. Oh, there it is. Look at that. Super nice website. And then they have the app option. So what we're going to do is we're going to plug the battery into the suit, make sure we get a good magnetic connection, which is all it is, just a little clip. Looks like it's in there. And so from there, we want to hit refresh. It looks like we're picking one up. We hit add. From there, you can put the battery on the other side, and it's already connected because it's connecting to the suit, not the battery. So now that's just a backup piggyback battery. Your pants connected and your top connected, and let's put you let's put you on low. Oh, okay. You're charged up. You feel like you're. I feel like I'm gonna be warm. I'm excited about these things. I think I'm feeling it, it already. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> so you said you set this on low. <laughs> nice. What are you? I'm sweating? on high and I'm like cooking. So I'm gonna turn this That's down to those, low for now. Points. Yeah. So what's nice about this is the phone will tell your suit what to do. But let's say your phone dies because it's cold outside or whatever, it will still run. It doesn't need to run without your suit without your phone. Yeah. Once it's set. Yeah, it, it's set. Oh, oh, yeah, it needs okay. to be set, but Wires from there your suit will run until it so goes out. So I was out snowmobiling and it got so super, super cold, like and my phone just mm -hmm. like phones went do. Dead. They, they just go dead. You, your suit's still so going to be yep. going. Yep. I'm feeling this, and it only took 30 seconds from the time it plugged in. So the, I know there's other heat garments out there, but the key thing about this stuff is it's uh, the heat pads. They're all. Uh, Polymer. Yeah, polymer pads, uh, perfectly safe. I myself at first was like, heated suits, okay, wires, this, that, double oh, yeah. A batteries, whatever. And when I got to looking into it, I'm like, holy crap, this is top, top notch technology, top, top notch material. Uh, they're super durable, so you can wash them, dry them like you would normal garments, and, and you're perfectly safe while using them. Caden likes to look cute, and so he's liking this. 
He's already looked in the mirror several times. <laughs> That's what I deal with every day. <laughs> I saw him over in the corner. He was doing push-ups, and then he was doing chin-ups too over here a minute ago, just pumping up his blood and his muscles, just so he looked tough. <laughs> of course, he is tough. See, I didn't do that. Isaac did that. <laughs> so Dave's a good friend of ours, but this is his first time out in a side by side. Yep, it'll be fun. I let him borrow my bullet helmet. So we're about halfway up the butte. We're still trying to get up to the top of that up there. Uh, we've been up there once before, it's pretty cool. But it's dad's first time, Dave's first time. Caden last time had his RS1. He doesn't have that anymore. But it's rides like this that doesn't make me feel so bad that I rolled my machine. Because if you remember right, the past videos, we put all the brand new plastics on it, all new powder coat job, and then I rolled it down the road scratched it all up big bummer yes but because that's happened i haven't cared about these plastics they're already scratched up and this sagebrush just it it comes in and grabs you and so it's like yeah, i don't care it's scratched and it actually makes it more fun and dad's used machine is a uh, new one he just got that's used it's kind of what he's decided to use it for it's not necessarily one you'd want to take that other one you saw on the trailer where it's all brand new, fresh, trailer princess. I'm sure he'll take it out on the desert, but this sort of stuff would have driven him nuts with that new machine. Get some drone shots.
me sand dunes. It's like a sand chute. amazing <laughs> this is incredible I would never thought these vehicles could do that what they can do he tried <laughs> I'll tell you what if this is gonna break it's gonna break it would have broke by now so it's like taking a wash rag and just squeezing it as hard <laughs> as you can so Caden and I have been up that Caden with his RS1 and me with that I was by myself, I didn't have two people in it. Um, and I think the reason why Caden in his stock RS1 was able to is because of all well, RS1's light to begin with, but it had the big horn tires. These tires are just not hooking up. And so, it, like I say, it looks steeper than you think on video. When, when dad's going up that portion and he's full throttle and barely going five mile an hour, it's because it's steep. Another thing is, you know, Dad always has the real pretty machines, right? You remember the YXZ? And uh, he's got that new, that new build double X. It's as fun to get him out of his realm, his little comfort. And uh, I'm glad he got this one because it's, you don't have to worry about it. It's I already scratched. the trailer queen on the trailer and I don't care. I really do not care what happens. This, this, this. <laughs> He's having fun. Well, so that's what it's all about. Well, we made it back to yeah. the parking lot. Yeah, it's gonna be a little bit I don't know if you can see it. We went all the way around yeah, the butte, all back. the way to the big dunes, all the way through the small dunes, and back. And uh, had ourselves a good time. Machines ran decent. I'm getting a weird vibration out of this one, and I don't know what it is. My turn. Great. What are you talking about? Decent. He likes his, his used turd, but the Wildcat, as usual, has always got something going on with it. Well, you guys, that was a fun ride. We got to go do some things we hadn't done before. Dad got to go ride in places he never thought he'd be. It's, uh, if you guys go to the sand dunes, everyone always hits the dunes. They never go to the butte or find trails. It's a lot of fun that way. Of course, today's opening day hunting season, and so there's a lot of hunters out there people out there on four wheelers i've never seen so many people freezing their tails off yeah <laughs> they're all freezing their tails off we're not <laughs> i think they're all proud to be packing their rifles but i don't i didn't hear any shots i didn't see any game the only game i saw was when we left right there out in the road there's a baby deer mm. So you guys, uh, the machines held up well. There's still work always on these machines that need to be done. Um, but seriously guys, if you guys are into hunting, fishing, uh, motorsports, a tradesman, out in the cold, camping, if you guys have wives or girlfriends out there that have a hard time going with you because they're sitting there and they're cold, I'm telling you, this is the way to go. This, the heat one layer, the material is top notch, the design is awesome, and the technology is state of the art. So it's uh, definitely the way to go if you guys want to stay warm with whatever hobby or whatever you guys do. 
also uh, big news we launched our Hillboro website so if you guys have uh, liked some of the stuff we use like for example the light bars on the side-by-sides as, as well as the lit up whips and rock lights uh, we're slowly releasing finally our Hillboro products such as the bumpers the roof racks um, what you see on there now is what we got and we're slowly adding more and more every day including if you guys are interested in these suits they are available on our website and so be sure to go check out Hillbro. We're going to be connecting all of our Facebook accounts. Uh, follow us on Facebook, Instagram, uh, obviously YouTube. And uh, if you guys see, like what you see, get on the website. You might be able to pick it up there. So thanks for watching Hillbro. And remember, you guys, it's out there. So go claim it.